The panic of 1893 closed many a door. Like Leon Cholgosh's job, a steel mill laborer was bitter, became an anarchist, shunned authority. By no one felt oppression in the hands of McKinley. Cholgosh took his pistol and the train to New York's Buffalo, where McKinley would attend the Pan American Expo. The date September 6th, McKinley stood by shaking hands at the Temple of Music, where in line Cholgosh would stand. With gun covered by a handkerchief, he reached McKinley then. He fired twice at close range, piercing William's abdomen. Was overpowered and beaten, then to jail he was sent. While William was in surgery, still unsure where the bullet went. Expo Hospital to the Milburn House was moved. Though infection was feared, McKinley seemed to improve. On the 13th, gangrene took hold, his death soon William knew. His wife Ida sat near distraught, said, I want to go too. The next morning at 2.15, William McKinley died. An autopsy followed, no bullet was too deep inside. Nine days after William passed, Rogosh's trial began. He waived defense, pled guilty, but the judge changed his plan. The trial ended, Rogosh's faith, the electric chair. October 29th of 01, he died there. He was buried in the prison graveyard, but not before. Acid was added to his coffin, of him nothing more.